Hi everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York Campus of Hack, and in this podcast we'll be reviewing blood velocity. There is a difference between blood flow and blood velocity. Blood flow is the amount of blood moving through a tissue in a certain period of time, measured in milliliters per minute. The velocity or speed of blood flow is measured in centimeters per second and has an inverse relationship to the cross-sectional area of the blood vessels it is traveling through, as shown in this diagram. The black line represents the velocity of blood flow, and the green line represents the total cross-sectional area of the vessels. In vessels having the largest total cross-sectional area, like the capillary beds, velocity of blood is the slowest. You can see in the graph that blood flow progressively slows down once it leaves the heart. As the large diameter arteries continually branch into smaller diameter arteries and then into the microscopic arterioles, all the while, the total cross-sectional area is increasing. As blood makes its way to the capillaries, where the total cross-sectional area is the highest. And blood velocity is the slowest. This is important considering the function of the capillaries as the slower speed enhances the exchange of gases, nutrients, and wastes between the blood and the interstitial fluid. As the venules drain the capillary beds and merge into the larger diameter veins, the total cross-sectional area decreases and blood velocity increases. For comparison, the aorta has a total cross-sectional area of 3 to 5 square centimeters, and blood flows through it at an average velocity of 40 square centimeters. The total cross-sectional area of a capillary bed is 4,500 to 6,000 square centimeters, with a blood velocity of less than 0.1 centimeter per second. Both the inferior and superior vena cava have a combined total cross-sectional area of 14 square centimeters with a blood velocity of 15 centimeters per second. The amount of time needed for one drop of blood to move through the entire pulmonary and systemic circulation is called circulation time and is about one minute.